If you've been tracking alongside of us with Daily in the Word, you'll know that today's mini study is from Genesis 47. And I'll be there in just a few moments. But I want to set the stage with a passage, a really familiar passage. I want to draw your attention to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It reads, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. No matter what the problem or what life's famines will bring, the safest place to rest our hearts and exercise our restless minds is found in the place of our God. As we acknowledge and trust in Jesus, He will provide our needs and direct our paths. You see, our story in Genesis 47 has the Lord's provision and direction meeting the needs of three entities, Joseph, Israel, and Egypt. In earlier years, Joseph was betrayed and sold by his brothers with what was intended for evil. But the Lord was with Joseph and through a series of events found in earlier chapters, he turned the brothers' ill intent into means of provision and blessing for Joseph. Joseph at this point is now second in command of a superpower of the day, Egypt. We also find him reunited with his father after many years. Our God is such a God of restoration. And personally, I have witnessed the Lord use terrible things in my life to bring about blessings and provision. Only a divine, benevolent God can do this. But not only for me, for others. Others benefit through Jesus' work in us. It is a natural overflow. From Joseph's platform, we are told that Israel was saved in the midst of a famine, verse 11. So Joseph settled his father and his brothers. He gave them a territory in the land of Egypt, in the best region of the land, the land of Ramses. So not just Joseph benefited from trusting in the Lord, but through him, all of Israel would be saved and the overflow next affects all the people of the land. You see, as Joseph trusted the Lord's leading without compromise, the Lord prepared him for a great famine, and Joseph took the necessary steps to ensure Egypt would be ready, storing seven years of grain. And you remember that from chapter 41. Well, here in 47, 12 through 26, Joseph used by the Lord to appropriate this grain. And we're told in verse 25 that the people replied with grateful hearts that you have saved our lives. They would eat and they would live because Joseph leaning upon the Lord. May the story of Joseph be encouraging to us. We find ourselves in bad situations, knowing that the Lord can use it to benefit us and others later on, and all to His glory. May we each trust in the Lord with all of our hearts. May we lean on His Word and believe that He will direct our steps through whatever financial, emotional, physical, spiritual, or relational famine we find ourselves in. As Jesus has saved you and I, may we be used to save others in this hurt and lost world. You are greatly loved. Go and greatly love.